This video is sponsored by Casado Games. Check out Recipe for Disaster on Steam Early Access this November 4th, 2021. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Recipe for Disaster. A game that's all about building your own restaurant, creating your own recipes, training and maintaining your staff, and keeping your customers as happy as you possibly can. Now, this game is coming to Steam Early Access on November 4th, 2021, which, if you're watching this in the day it goes out, is today. There will be a link in the video description if you want to check that out. But without any further ado, let's just get right into it, because this game, with me behind the controls, is absolutely a recipe for disaster. Now, at the time of recording, we have a tutorial and a campaign that we can go through with multiplayer coming soon. I've actually played through the tutorial twice already, so we're gonna avoid that today, but I will explain what's going on. And I've actually already completed the first, I guess, mission, job, setting, location, whatever you want to call it, the first chapter of the campaign, just so I can get an idea of what's going on, how the game really works, and sort of better explain it and show it to all of you in this video. So today, I'm going to do that again, and we're just going to get right to it. So a few months ago, I landed my very first part-time job flipping burgers at Sloppy Joe's. Keen to impress, I've been staying behind after work to work on a special secret sauce recipe for the restaurant's famous Volcano Burger. Yesterday, I decided to slip some of that into a customer's order, and they loved it. It turns out this particular customer is actually a famous content creator, and their horde of followers are now flocking to the restaurant to get a piece of the action. Oh boy. And just like that, we are in. We have a bunch of objectives over here on the right side of the screen. We need to have five seated tables at the same time. We need to make 150 euro in a single day. We need to serve eight tables. And as a bonus, we need to sell five dishes at 70 euro or more. We will lose if our popularity drops to 30. It's currently 55. So let's minimize the objectives because we don't need to worry about them just yet. Because as it turns out, there's some things that we need to do with the restaurant before we even touch any of those objectives. And I think the first thing to do is actually going to be to sell just about everything that's in here. So those windows can go, that mirror can go, this trash can go. These tables and chairs can actually go as well, and there's a reason for that, because these chairs are secondhand, and I'll explain why that's bad in a little bit, but we're going to delete these as well and get all of that money back. We're going to delete these lights, because I don't really want those lights in the main part of the restaurant, and then we actually have some storage shelves out on the restaurant floor that I want to move into the kitchen, so these guys can be moved to here and then to here and this one can be rotated and put right about there now those storage shelves are one of the two locations that will be storing raw food so the shelves themselves and then the fridges over here which i guess we can move as well in fact let's focus on the kitchen for just a second here we have these fridges we have some kitchen doors as well we actually have so that's a back kitchen door we have a back kitchen door there then a main kitchen door there. I'm not really sure what the difference is in those, but we'll not worry too much about it. Uh, what we will do is just move these fridges around a little bit. So I'm thinking a fridge right about here, right about there. And uh, I want to put this one over there as well. So we're going to have to move that grill or sorry, that deep fryer and the grill. Now, those can actually go over here because I think having them next to the order window might just speed things up a little bit. So we'll go ahead and put the fridges I guess, sort of in line with those rather than, uh, you know, on the other end of the place. So that looks okay. A little bit of a distance apart, but that looks okay. And I guess we can also get rid of the ficus that we had right there as well. And that basically gives us a clean slate to start working on things, which is exactly what I want to do. And the first thing I really want to get working on is actually going to be getting rid of this light, getting rid of that door, and getting rid of these 
uh, walls here as well, because that bathroom is weirdly in the middle of the floor. So we have one bathroom available, which is fine, but uh, I also want rid of that window to be uh, completely honest as well. But what I think I'm going to do is build a second bathroom and we're just going to build it right next to the first one in a bit of a better spot uh, than the first one had. So right about there, we can go ahead, we can duplicate the door and then we can just paint everything, make it look a little bit better, put some new lights in, some windows, some tables, some chairs, and then we're pretty much, well, halfway towards being able to open the restaurant. I, it's a lot of information I'm throwing at you right now, but it will sort of make sense once we have a bit of a layout here. So let's just go ahead and start doing some painting. And the first thing I really want to do is go ahead and use this floral wallpaper for the sort of feature wall right there, because I think that looks kind of cool. Oh my God, I can sort of do a custom color on all of these walls. That's, I actually didn't know that. I've put a couple of hours into this and I, I genuinely didn't know that. Oh, it applies to what, oh. Oh, it applies to whatever I'm editing. That's actually really cool. Okay, I, I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. Uh, let's go for something like this. That sort of off white is uh, is not too bad right there for the uh, the walls of the place. It's a little cold, perhaps. Definitely a little, maybe a little cold, but we can change out the floor and make it a little bit more pleasant, I think. Uh, but for now, let's just go into textures and do, I don't know, let's go for just like paneled wood walls in the, uh, in the bathrooms. I don't know if that's a great texture for a bathroom or not, but it's going to do the job. And I think it's also, yeah. So it had the blue, uh, the blue on it there as well. I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't know if that's an, an intentional feature or not. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to change the sort of hue of, uh, of the textured wallpapers, but I really like that. That's actually really, really cool. I can't do it for floors though, which is probably for the best. So let's go for, let's try this dark wood. That is very dark, isn't it? Maybe the lighter one. Maybe that one. Yeah, I, I like that. Okay, so that's fine. That's going to be our bathrooms. That's going to be our main room. We need to get some windows in here. But first, uh, let's actually do the floors of the bathrooms as well. So we'll go for something like that. We'll move this toilet into there. And over on the left, we have a bunch of options for different things. So let's go to restrooms. Let's get a nice uh, sink right there and there. And that seems fine. So that... That's a pair of bathrooms, okay? That's that's what we need. We want to make sure people can poop because if they can't, they're going to get grumpy. And I arguably, it could be much worse than them getting grumpy if they can't poop. So we'll keep some bathrooms right there. Kitchen's nicely laid out as well. So at this point, it is going to be time to start setting up the main room. And this is where the choice of furniture is actually kind of important. So I mentioned I would explain why the wooden chairs that were secondhand are bad. That's because, quite frankly, they have an ambient modifier of minus one in a radius of three. So essentially, we don't want, you know, sort of ratty tatty looking chairs. It's, it's kind of that simple. So we want to go for something that maybe has zero, so it does nothing for the surrounding area or a table that has two and two so a plus two and a radius of two or we could go for some chairs that have a one two which isn't bad either but i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go for some fancy wooden tables well hmm am i that's that's gonna be the question do i want a fancy wooden table which is a single two two or do I want a common wooden table, which is neutral, surrounded by a bunch of chairs with a one-two? That might not be a bad way to do it. And I think that is the way we're going to do it. So we're going to go for a nice $75 cheap table right there. We'll get another one here and here. And we can sort of dot these just uh, across the room a little bit. I could put another one over here, but that's a little close to the serving window, I think. Uh, I could sort of do one down in this corner as well. I could double it up, I suppose. In fact, I could double up. Oh, I could double up a few of these tables now that I think about it. I don't know if I want to do this. I've never, I've never really doubled up tables before, but I'm, I'm kind of willing to try because it might be kind of interesting. So we'll do, we'll do that and we'll see how that plays out. Then in terms of chairs, oh boy. 
Okay, so we're gonna go for this. And then a whole bunch of these. And they're all gonna be sort of back to back. It looks a bit like a classroom, doesn't it? It does look a little bit like a classroom. And if I wanted to, I can put sort of chairs at the ends of some of these tables, which... I mean, I can't really do it in the middle there, but I can do it on this one. So that's like a six-seater. That's fine. That's That seems okay. Maybe a little excessive, but it seems okay. We still got $3,240 as well, so that's fine. Let's get some lights and some windows in here. We'll get some decoration in as well to make the place kind of nice. And then we can look into staff and how they work in Recipe for Disaster. There we go. I don't think this looks too bad. We got some flowers on the walls. We got some ficus in some of the corners. We got some vases or vases, if you want to pronounce them that way. We've got some candles to give some light. We got some lights in the bathroom, some lights up here as well. This is, I think, a pretty decent looking restaurant floor. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and close the build menu on the left there. It is still technically open, but we're going to have a look at staff down here because this is, oh my God, it reminds me of Software Inc, but it's better. And I, I, I love how much control I have over my staff in this game. The whole game in general looks visually very similar to Software Inc. Just the lighting is a bit better and the detail is a bit better. Very different games. And I'm not criticizing Software Inc. It's just, there's some similarities and I've always, I love this kind of low poly art style. I really, really do. Anyway, we currently have four members of staff. And the interesting thing with your staff is that they have traits, they have skills, they have likes and they have dislikes. So Christopher Ryan, for example, is a level four out of five. Uh, on the fryer and he actually likes the fryer so he is someone that we're going to want working on the fryer he is level two out of five on the grill but he dislikes the grill so we're probably not going to put him on that uh, he is a workaholic which means he works faster but will cut his breaks short before replenishing his stamina and that is something that can cause him to break down and potentially quit if we have a look at george dixon he is a level three, a five fryer. He loves uh, countertop work. He does not like the oven. Has a bit of charisma, a bit of cleaning skill as well. So not bad, but he does have a short fuse. So you probably don't want to make him uh, a server because he's going to cause customers to lose patience at a faster rate. Bridget Castro is an interesting one. Level two of five on serving. Loves serving as well and can do some cleaning. So you would be someone that we would put on serving staff. Uh, you are annoying though, which, well, results in increased stress for nearby employees, but you're also em uh, empathic, uh, which will cheer people up nearby. So you kind of cancel out your annoying. Well, you don't cancel it out. You're still going to annoy them, but you'll cheer them up by annoying them, I guess. And then there's me because you can absolutely make your own avatar and uh, that's not all you can make in this game. But before we get to that, uh, I like working on stoves, which is true. I actually do kind of really enjoy cooking and I'm not a big fan of fryers, so that's pretty accurate. And then my traits are genius, so I'll level up faster and short fuse. I'll let you figure out which one of those is a lie and which one of those is true. Answer in the comments below, please. Uh, now, I mentioned that Making your own avatar isn't the only thing you can do. You can actually edit uniforms. And I love the fact that you can do this. I really, I really do love the fact that you can do this. It's so cool that you can customize uniforms. You can save them. Uh, this is the one that comes with this particular uh, mission, this job, I guess. But I made this one as a chef outfit. And I made this one as a server's outfit. And I think they look pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two new uh, groups here. So the first one is going to be cooking staff who will have the chef outfit. And the second one will be uh, serving staff who will have the serving outfit. And it's very tempting to add a cleaning one as well, but I've not really talked about cleaning yet. So we're not going to worry too much about that. Uh, what we are going to do is, I guess we're going to add, oh boy, now this is going to be interesting. We're going to add Bridget to the serving staff category we're going to add christopher to the cooking staff category and we're going to add i guess george most likely by the looks of it yeah george to cooking as well which kind of leaves me 
in a weird spot because I have a short fuse. The customers aren't going to like me uh, <laughs> being around them too much. So maybe I put myself on like a cleaning task. That might be, hold on, I'm going to add group, um, <laughs> janitor, and I guess I'm going to have to make a new uniform, right? <laughs> oh man. I own, I own the restaurant. Well, actually, no, technically I work in the restaurant, don't I? But if I'm a janitor, I'm not even supposed to be cooking. Oh. And there we go. That's all the groups sorted. So we have George and Christopher going to be working in the kitchen in their snazzy uniforms. We have Bridget going to be working in serving. We're probably going to need another server as well. In fact, we're absolutely going to. So we'll get one of the applicants in just a second. And then there's me. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's not a it's not a life of luxury that I'm leading. That's for sure. But that's that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So we have some applicants. We actually have Anna, who is pretty good with, like, the oven, but your charisma being level 5 and your serving being level 3, although you are annoying, which is kind of an annoying, but uh, I'm going to hire you, and we're going to put you into the serving group as well. So there we go. Now, we have all of our staff. We have five people working for us. So we'll close out of that menu. We'll hit open in the top right right here. And we should see, there they are, all of our staff arriving. So the two cooks, the two servers, and then me. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay, well, uh, so we have some... <laughs> oh, it's the... Poor, poor little me, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so we have some things to do. We have some things to assign. Uh, so... Who have we got? We've got, uh, who is this? George and Christopher are going to be doing cooking. So if I go ahead and click on uh, the grill, the first thing we're going to want to do is say that we'll get George working the grill. And Christopher doesn't like it, so he is going to be the second person that works the grill. So George will do it first. If George isn't available, then Christopher will do it. And then on the deep fryer, that is going to be Christopher first and then George first second so that'll be cooking nicely handled and that's all well and good in terms of serving we have bridget and we have anna so what we'll do is go to these tables here and we'll say that first and foremost will be anna followed by bridget and i can go ahead and copy and how many tables do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven oh boy uh so let's go for these five right here for that particular order which was anna first then this one will be bridget first anna second and we'll go ahead and paste that to all of these tables so that they can kind of both work at the same time if the place ends up being full which it's it's pretty likely to be uh, at least at first until things go terribly wrong and then there's me so what do we do with cleaning areas well cleaning areas are pretty simple. We just define an area like this, uh, which honestly, we can just go ahead and kind of say that the main floor is going to be a cleaning area with a threshold of 50. So if it gets beneath 50% clean, uh, I will go and clean it, even though I'm not very good at cleaning. And then the kitchen is going to be its own area as well, uh, which is going to be me and about 40% on the kitchen. And that's pretty good. So that's everything set up. That is absolutely everything set up aside from a menu well there is a menu there absolutely is a menu we have the mega sloppy the volcano burger the joe and fries and the cosmic banana so i think that's that's a pretty solid menu right it's not bad and if you click on anything here you can actually go and edit the recipe if you want to so we can see that the mega sloppy involves deep frying mozzarella corn tomatoes and chicken breast and then grilling a burger bun ground beef and cumin and then it all gets plated up into the mega sloppy and then shipped out to customers. But here's an interesting little thing that you can do. We can click new recipe. I can say, you know, U-L-T-R-A ultra sloppy. We can create that and we kind of start from scratch. Which is exactly what I want to do. Because part of the challenge on this, I guess, job is to sell a bunch of dishes that are $70 or more. So why don't we make something that's going to be kind of expensive? 
Why don't we say that the ultra sloppy is going to involve a T-bone steak being grilled? Why don't we say that it's going to involve, I don't know, let's go for, let's say smoked bacon being grilled, maybe some pork ribs. Maybe the ultra sloppy is this massive sort of meat feast thing going on. Uh, so we can throw a beef sirloin in there as well. And then I want some seasoning. And I'm thinking we go for Tex-Mex seasoning on that. That seems like a pretty good start. But I want more. I'm not done yet. Uh, so fruit and veg, we're going to throw some potato fries in there. And we're going to deep fry those. And in terms of seasoning on those, I mean, we could go for... I don't really know, to be honest. Mediterranean, parsley, paprika. Paprika is pretty good for, uh, for that whole setup, I guess. And I, I don't really know what else to throw in here. So it's it's essentially just meat and fries, isn't it? There's not really much else going on. I mean, we could... Oh, God. We could throw seafood in here. Ooh. Ooh, deep fried squid sounds really good right now. It's it's like 7.30 in the morning from <laughs> right now when I'm recording this. Deep fried squid at 7.30 in the morning doesn't sound bad. But uh, yeah, we'll save that as the ultra sloppy. We'll have a look at the menu. And the ultra sloppy is $47. Now, we need to sell some things that are or euro. Uh, so this needs to be 70. That's that's one of the, the tasks that we have is to sell some things that are 70 euro. We also need a lot of ingredients though. So let's close out of this. Let's have a look at food storage. And oh boy, this should actually be the last thing that we need to manage before the thing actually gets up and running. So... We are basically going to go down this list and say that everything we have, every ingredient that we need, I want to keep a minimum of five, not, well, you know what, minimum of 10, maybe, maybe a minimum of five. I think, I think five is probably fair enough. So we'll get five of everything any one time. That's what we're aiming for. And that'll hopefully keep us going. And there we go. That's absolutely everything. So next delivery is, I don't know if that's in 11 minutes or if that's at 11, doesn't really matter. Let's just go ahead and run things. We've got our staff coming in. They know what they're doing. They know where they need to be. We should have customers coming in in no time at all. We've got our serving staff. We've got me looking ridiculous in that hat. Which is fair enough. I'm actually wondering why I haven't got hats on the chefs. I should probably do that, but we'll not worry too much about it. We got our first table. They're, I guess, are they ready to order? Okay, they're waiting. That's fine. That's not too bad. We've got uh, more customers coming in there. They're submitting their order? Oh, what did they go for? They went for mega sloppies. Okay. Not too bad. So we get some mega sloppies being ordered. We get you guys ordering as well. You want uh, cosmic banana and mega sloppy. That's fine. You guys are kind of chilling. Now you're ordering. What do you want? Ultra sloppy. There we go. Okay. So that's good. And that's good because remember, we have these objectives here. So we need five seated tables at any one time. 150 euro in a single day, need to serve eight tables and sell five dishes at 70 euro or more. So having an ultra sloppy ordered right away is actually pretty good news. And also thinking about it, you know what wouldn't be a, a bad idea? Going back into build mode really quick and getting a fire extinguisher because yeah, it, you're, you're the restaurant can catch fire. It is a thing that can happen. So we do want to be a little bit careful. Uh, now, who, what, what, who are you? What are you, what are you doing? Who is this? Who, who is, who are you? Um, Charisma, what? Uh, so is Anna going to go talk to you? What are we doing? I have no idea. Wait, what is this? Employee for hire, Maria Crawford. If I'm being honest, I suck at cooking, but it's my dream to be a chef. Um... I've never seen this before. I've never seen someone standing waving for a job before. Interesting. Um, we could negotiate a salary. I could, I mean, I mean, I could hire you. You're really cheap per hour, but I don't know that I need you. So I'm not really interested. Please leave my kitchen. I don't know why you're here. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I've, I've put a couple of hours into this. That's new. Oh, okay. So we managed to seat five tables at a single time. That's good. We've served two of eight. We've made 104 euro, 174 euro today. Okay, so that's done as well. Okay, so not bad. A 
pretty good start, I like to think. And, you know, this gives you an idea of how the game looks when it's running. Uh, the place is apparently squeaky clean as well, which I would hope so, considering I'm dedicated to cleaning for the rest of my life. Uh, but, I mean, you can see in the bottom right how things are going. So, Christopher's doing good. George isn't doing too good. Our reputation has gone up to 58, though. It started at 55, so that's pretty good. And we can actually go in and see what people think of the restaurant. So, so far, it looks nice. It's clean. They're served quickly. Uh, Bridget was nice. The ultra sloppy was just okay. Uh, Bridget was rude. <laughs> Bridget was rude. Mm. Okay. Well, that's a bit worrying, but okay. And then we got Christopher over here who is, I think, going on break. Yeah. So Christopher's way out for his break. You can see he's getting recharged a little bit there, which isn't too bad. But overall, I mean, a pretty solid start, I like to think. We're making money, which is great news. What are you standing with that for? Oh, do we need another grill? I guess we we probably could, couldn't we? I mean, we have the money for it, I think. If we have a little look at build mode. Uh, build mode, so 250 for a deep fryer, 180 for a grill. You know what? That actually doesn't seem like a bad idea. So let me grab the fire extinguisher and just move it to like there. Let's get another grill. Let's get another deep fryer. And let's get people assigned to those. So copy to there. Uh, I didn't want to do that. Oh boy, let me let me flip that around a little bit. I think. Oh god, what way is this supposed to be? Uh, so you are supposed to be first, then you are second. So if I copy to there, there we go. So that should hopefully let things go a little bit quicker. I'm not 100% sure if it will, but it looks good. It looks like we actually have a range of, uh, of appliances now, which is lovely. And we're running... Uh-oh. You are kidding me. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh, man. It took... It genuinely took... So my first run-through of this, uh, <laughs> this job, it took me an hour to set the place on fire. It's taken me less than, like, 10 minutes of actually running the restaurant to set it on fire this time. Oh, no. And I've reached breaking point. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, no. Um, Automatic go rest. rest. Well, let's, let's put it there. Uh-oh. Breaking point danger, Christopher Ryan. Oh, God. Okay, it took me 30 minutes to beat, to do all the objectives. Great. Continue playing and pause. <laughs> I need Christopher to go rest. Mate, I need you. Go, go and relax, okay? Uh, I have completely snapped and I've just like given up in the middle of the floor. That's great. Uh, team is too small. We hate working here. Okay. That's, um, I mean, fair enough. You haven't reached breaking point, have you? What are you doing? I need you to go rest, mate. Uh, what are you, you shouldn't be working. You need to go rest. Oh no, it's going to break. He's broken. He's bro. Oh no. Mate, oh, he's just... <laughs> no! Not again! Not again! Oh, he didn't do that on purpose, did he? Oh, now George is having problems. George, mate, go and rest. Why are you all breaking? Is it because we have so many people? I feel like it's because we have so many people. I feel like we... <laughs> I feel like we've got too many tables for the number of staff that we have. Uh, Bridget, you need to go rest as well. Um... Okay, yeah, no, we... <laughs> Hold on a minute. Staff? Uh, <laughs> this is bad. Uh, Sharon? You're gothic? That's fine. We'll hire you. Congratulations. You are going to the cooking team. Which is lovely. And, uh... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to do here. I really... I really don't know. Um, this is... This is new. Uh, to be brutally honest, this is, this is, oh, oh, you like doing that, don't you? Okay, hold on a minute. So you're going for slot number one, uh, you're going to be slot number two, and then you're going to be slot number three. We'll copy that over, like so. And, oh, that's on fire too. Okay, hold on a minute. We might need another, another fire extinguisher. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe I've done this. I think closing the restaurant's probably a pretty good idea. That's, that's, that's probably for the best. Uh, George has quit. I quit, apparently. 
Actually, no, maybe I was. I, I might not have quit. So, so not a good first day. Not a not a good first day. The mega sloppy was quite popular, and in terms of staff, we we have four, which is great. I do feel like it might be worth getting rid of some tables though. So I, I think we can get rid of a couple of things, to be completely honest, such as you know the excessive fire extinguishers, and probably some of the tables. In fact, definitely, definitely some of the tables. So let's get rid of you, and you, and we'll get rid of, let's see, we'll get rid of you and you as well. Just to sort of strip down the number of people we can have in here at any one time. In terms of decorations, we can do a nice uh, table vase right there and right there as well, just to keep the place kind of nice. And hopefully that's going to, you know, make the place a bit more manageable. In terms of staff, we do only have one person cooking, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, you do like grilling, though, and you like frying, which is fantastic. You're better at it, though. So Donna might be the one we want to go for. Although, well, you're not bad either. And you will cheer people up nearby. So who's cheaper? Oh, it's going to be Philippa for sure. Okay, so Philippa's hired. You're going into cooking. And hopefully I can maintain my janitorial standards okay so we'll see how that goes uh in terms of everything else though let's open up let's um oh boy so philippa and who was my other <laughs> philippa and sharon where's sharon sharon's right there so copy and cut and uh, paste and then here is sharon and second is philippa we'll copy that over there so that's done where am i there i am so am I going to clean? I'm hoping I'm going to clean. I'm clean. Okay, mate, I need you to go and prioritize cleaning that. I like that I can at least, you know, tell him what to focus on. That's actually really useful. So clean this as well. Because if the kitchen's not tidy, we're actually going to have some serious problems. So we'll get you to just, you know, make sure the place is clean there. And then I can head out and do my thing. And honestly, thinking about it, probably not a bad idea to get another janitor. It's probably really not a bad idea to uh, let's do that. So staff, I mean, we don't have any applicants that want to do it. We don't have any applicants that, well, uh, anyone that's good at cleaning. Jasmine's not bad at it. You are annoying though, so we're not going to bother with that. And that seems fine. So at the very least, we have some cooking going on, right? Things are okay right now. I took a nice rest. I'm cleaning the storage. I could probably do with cleaning some tables, but you know, food's going out, money's coming in. People seem relatively happy. My reputation is terrible, but honestly, that's probably because, you know, it was on fire yesterday for most of the day. In fact, for almost the entire day, the place was on fire. Uh, so it kind of makes sense that the place, you know, would would be on a, a bit of a, a downward trend right now but today looks like it's going a lot better so no complaints there at the very least oh no this is cool anna has uh, leveled up right there so we can go and have a look and see what we can get so we could remove her hated action which is working in the stove which we don't really need to do we can make anna a popular kid which will increase the number of customers that come to the restaurant or we can make it so that Anna will tolerate one extra breaking point before quitting. Well, hopefully we aren't going to need to worry about that. So let's go popular kid and see how that goes. Hopefully well. And then in terms of everybody else, I don't really know when they're necessarily going to level up. 30 more XP on the fryer, 30 more XP there. That's fine. For the most part, you know, the place is is doing okay. I do absolutely think we need another janitor, though. So let's go into staff and let's go to... Let's see, what do we got? So who can we get that can do this? You're actually pretty good with a grill. That's... You would be a tempting employee if I needed more cooks. Who is good at cleaning, though? So... I guess it's going to have to be... I don't really want you to be... I don't really want you to be annoying. 
that's kind of the thing. I don't want you to be annoying because I, <laughs> I, I don't know if my character will quit or not. But I guess we're going to have to chance it and we're going to have to say that uh, you can go be a janitor as well. So there we go. And uh, I guess we just assign you to the the cleaning area. In fact, what we'll do is just assign you to, I guess, the kitchen. So I can clean the floor and then, oh, we've done the bonus objective. It took me, okay, so yeah, it took me like 40 minutes to do that. That's fine. Let's continue. I'm, I'm quite happy about that. The fact that I managed to do everything and also put out the literal and metaphorical fire that was going on here. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Now, Sharon, what are you doing? I kind of need you to go and rest. You you definitely need to go and rest before you snap. That's We definitely want to be avoiding that, okay? And then, uh, Bridget, you've got to level up, so... Customers will pay more. Remove your hate, which is the fryer. Now, you don't work in the kitchen, so that's fine. Lowers stress during breaks. I actually, I think that would be quite good, too. But paying more from customers is kind of a big deal, so... We'll, we'll go for the pay. I, I feel like uh, I feel like money is kind of kind of what we want. I mean, this place could look better. What's wrong with my restaurant? Why was the ultra sloppy disgusting? What? Wait, what is this? I thought they had fried spicy banana in the menu. What? Okay, I mean I'll add the rest of it. What is a, what is fried spicy banana? And why is it only one seventy five? What? Oh, it's it is literally. I guess, a deep-fried banana with Tex-Mex seasoning. That sounds... That sounds... I don't... I don't... I don't know how to describe what that sounds like. Oh, fantastic! I've leveled up! So, I can be a calming presence, which will lower the stress of people in the room if someone's about to reach breaking point. I can move faster. Or I can extinguish fires faster. I actually... You know what? Being a calming presence doesn't sound like a bad idea, but I feel like it's not my servers that are close to breaking point. So let's go fast feet so I can get around quicker. And to be fair, I actually do walk quite fast. I genuinely do. Everyone that I've ever walked anywhere with, whether it's at an event or just on a walk or whatever it is, like I, when I get walking somewhere, I am going, I am gone. And it's just, it comes from every time I've gone through an airport. I stand up straight, put on some sunglasses, and walk like I'm on a mission, and that way no one stops you to talk to you, people get out of your way because you look important. I'm not, but I definitely, you know, you kind of look like someone that's, you know, means business, basically. So yeah, I, I walk very fast, so that's, uh, that's, that's kind of fitting. Didn't really expect to be role-playing my character in this game, but I do take my, my, uh, character development very, very seriously. And that's going to be the end of day two, which I would imagine went considerably better than day one. Uh, yesterday's popularity was 34. Today was 40. Yesterday's average rating was two stars. Today was 3.5, which is fantastic. In terms of finances, we made considerably more money, which is exactly what we want. My staff, I'm hoping were a bit happier than uh, perhaps they were the day before. And the Ultra Sloppy actually did very, very well, which is exactly what we want. So let's get open for day three. We'll bring the staff in. The ingredients have been delivered. Our reputation has somewhat recovered. That's good. That's what we want. I'm actually, I'm genuinely quite thrilled with uh, this <laughs> this little comeback that we've made. I'm I'm surprised, actually, that uh, this, this has worked out. Uh, now, let me have a look. Why is my... There we go. Now I can move around. Uh, let me just have a look at this cleaning area and say that I want you to clean anything that's below 75% in the kitchen. In fact, 80% in the kitchen. So that might get you kind of cleaning perpetually, but hopefully it means that the kitchen is actually kept, you know, properly clean. Although it looks like you're just sort of... Oh, no, there you go. Okay, so yeah, everything can just be kept nice and clean in there. And uh, Jasmine has actually leveled up. So let's go for... We can make you happy at night. Okay, well, I mean, you don't work overnight, so no. Uh, we'll give you 10% bonus stamina. Or 10% bonus to your stamina recovery. Which seems fair enough. So that should be shorter breaks, I think. 
And you know what? Actually, probably not a bad idea to bring that down to like 65 so you're not just cleaning constantly. Because that seems like it would be a bit of a nightmare. What are you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, Anna, go talk to this person. They want a job. I'm only 16, but I want to learn the craft. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. We did quite well yesterday. Let's negotiate this salary. We're bringing that down a little bit. You didn't lower it at all. You know what? Amy Salazar will take a chance. You're hired. It doesn't seem legit, but whatever. What are you good at? Serving. Well, fantastic. I know what you're going to be doing. Uh, let's go in here. Let's minimize this. Amy, congratulations. You're now part of the serving staff. And you know what that says to me, actually? What that says to me is that we could probably go ahead and get a few more tables. So I think these tables are still being worked. So hold on, what does Anna do? So Anna's a server and Bridget is a server as well, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's, I guess, duplicate some tables. I guess go into build mode first and then duplicate some tables. Uh, so we'll duplicate this one to... I kind of need me to move. So if I could get out of there, there we go. Uh, so back into build mode. Duplicate you and put it there. Uh, and then duplicate you and put it there. I didn't want this one. Uh, delete that. So that gives us a little bit more to play with. Which is fine. Uh, we could duplicate this one as well to maybe that spot. And that looks fine. So what we'll do is grab... Oh, it duplicated the uh, the setup for the tables as well. Uh, let's get Amy on this one. And then we'll get Anna. And then we'll get Bridget. And we'll just go ahead and sort of paste it to those. So that should, at the very least, you know, keep Amy busy. It gives us three servers. It should mean that we can deal with more customers. It might make the kitchen staff a little bit more anxious and a bit more stressed, but I think we can manage. I hope we can manage, because the last time we didn't manage, the place caught fire. Oh, Sharon, why are you so close to breaking point? What's going on there? That's not good. What is good, though, is that I have a level up ready to go, so let's see what I can do with my, uh, with my level up, which I can't seem to do anything with. There we go. Oh, it's right there. Uh, so I can be a chatterbox, which means taking a break with other employees will make them happier. I can extinguish fires faster, or I can be a Michelin chef, which would be amazing. But I feel like I'm going to go chatterbox, and then Jasmine doesn't slow down when tired. That seems like actually a really good idea. Oh, Anna has a level as well. So Anna is a server. Increase the cooking skills of other employees nearby while cooking. Oh, Let's go happy when tables are full. That seems like a pretty good one. And for the most part, everyone's getting a little bit more tired, a little bit more quickly, but we seem to be holding it together. So I think now is probably as good a time as any to leave it there for today and ask a very important question, which is plain and simply, do we want to see more of Recipe for Disaster here on the YouTube channel? Because there are, I think, four or five more uh, jobs and scenarios and things like that that we can dive into. There are other things that we can cook, other appliances that we can get our hands on, which means better restaurants, bigger restaurants, fancier restaurants. So if that's something you would be interested in, do let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely curious to see what you think. And also while you're down there, if you like the video, do feel free to click that like button. And if you want to see more stuff like this, do click subscribe which, in theory, if YouTube is working properly, will let you know when I post new videos, but it's YouTube, so there's every chance that they won't bother their arse. Either way, thank you very much for watching. It's been... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Someone's getting close to breaking. Jasmine, can you uh, can you go on break, please? If you wouldn't mind. I don't want you breaking. I really... I really... You know what? Actually, sending you home might be a good idea. So just send you home before you break so that you don't break. You know what I mean? So if you wouldn't mind, Jasmine, just get lost. I'm trying to do my outro. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Buh bye bye